Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the pros and cons of MailChimp integration app on Salesforce. Let's get started with advantages. In this app, data analysis can be tracked on the Salesforce platform itself. It provides a proper sync of the data between Salesforce org and MailChimp website. The two-way data sync keeps a backup of leads if the situation requires to change the source of truth. We can see subscriber details and MailChimp activity as well on the dashboard of the Salesforce org after installation of the app. We can also view MailChimp campaign reports and share the reports within Salesforce as well. Uh, we can also have the subscribers from MailChimp loaded into our Salesforce organization as leads and the syncing of leads and contacts from Salesforce to MailChimp can be secured as well using a query. Moving on to the disadvantages. One of the big letdowns is the fact when a contact unsubscribes in MailChimp, the email opt-out field in Salesforce is not populated. Um, about the support, it's not the greatest to say the least about it according to the reviews that we have read online. And uh, when we tried to sync up the data of contacts from Salesforce to MailChimp, the numbers of contacts did not match. The difference was 1.5%. One, 1 when you run into an error that explicitly says that the error is being generated by Apex Trigger, for this you will have to use a workaround for it. Another disadvantage is that when a contact is deleted from an audience in MailChimp, it does not reflect in the profile of the associated contact or lead in Salesforce. Likewise, if a lead in a, or a contact opts out in Salesforce, they can be added to their MailChimp audience. They remain subscribed in MailChimp database. Following this, we have a structured data sync on Salesforce and MailChimp. When we sync contacts from Salesforce to MailChimp, we execute it through a query using filters as we already have seen in the previous videos. The query can be executed every time manually. But when we are syncing contacts from Marketing Cloud to Salesforce, the click, it's just a clicking of the button and it's an in-app query which cannot be edited. The data does get synchronized instantaneously, same as above.